All right, y'all, so today I'm going to be reviewing and showing y'all the new World and their Sword coming to Grand Peace Online in the next update. This sword was just posted on YouTube by Foyu himself, so I'm here to react to it and see it and give my verdict on it. But before we do that, here's some background context. The World and the Sword is actually a sword taken from the game League of Legends. As you can see right here, it is used by a character named Aatrox or Atrox, however you say it. And we're looking at the sword board, it looks like a demon blade. Like, look at this guy, he looks cold as hell. So they definitely did a good job recreating the sword. Obviously, you can't add everything into it because, you know, it is Roblox and not League of Legends. But for a Roblox game, it still looks pretty fire. As you can see right here by the basic gameplay, it actually looks really, really similar. And Foyu actually took all the moves from the game, or at least what he could implement, and he put them into GPO. As you can see right here is one of the moves, another move right there, and then there's another one. So now, let's look at what they look like in the game. As you can see with the world ender kind of like the great sword it only has two attacks soul eater and throx the throx is basically just like a drop down attack kind of like a combo center where it launches someone up in the air after slamming the sword down on the ground extremely hard and the soul eater is kind of like a great sword attack where you kind of stab somebody sucking energy from them and then hitting them away not only with the soul eater attack it also takes damage from the player you're fighting and you gain hp from the player as you saw right there, for you gain 200 plus HP from that. This sword is probably going to need to be nerfed so fast. And obviously, bro, the emblems for this sword, as you can see right here, bro, are so fire, bro. Look at the combos he's pulling off just with basic combos. These look fire. And obviously, with this sword, it's probably going to be a viable sword, just like the scythe and the dagger from the Halloween event. So obviously, there's no boss in One Piece who has this sword, so it's most likely going to be a purchasable item. But who knows for real? The next update might be in the battle pass. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But it also has like a slash attack instead of just having the two base attacks that it has built into the sword it has this slash like final like finisher attack type of thing as you can see right there but you know overall this sword looks pretty dope not gonna lie like it has really cool graphics too as you can see like the fire effects it just it looks like a demon blade but now let's do a comparison to the gpo attacks and the real attacks as you can see right here in league of legends this is the thorax attack obviously just a pretty basic attack you just jump up in the air and slam the enemy down with the heavy down slash but now let's look at the soul eater attack and for the soul eater attack it's more or less not exactly accurate but it's like an attack called the infernal chains but yeah that's basically it for the new sword but that is going to conclude my video on the new world ender sword coming to gpo but that's basically all i gotta say about the new sword it's not much to say about it but without further ado i'm gonna see y'all later